Guys, I finally put it together. I've got a t-shirt episode for you. In today's video, we're gonna go through all the t-shirts that I've been wearing, that you've been seeing, and that you've been asking for. So let's get into it. <music> Right, here we go. This is the most asked question I get from uh, all of my videos is, uh, you know, what t-shirt am I wearing? What am I gonna do a t-shirt episode? And I just wanted to put my thoughts together on a t-shirt episode. It took me a while because I wanted to get some more t-shirts to compare to the older ones I've got just based on cotton types and fabrics and that kind of stuff. So I finally got that, I've worn some uh, lovely t-shirts. Uh, now these are all from the premium type range. These are all, um, you know, nothing in terms of cheap and you, you, I'll go into detail why they're so expensive. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I do uh, have quite a few t-shirts from like Everlane, ASOS, really cheap six pound t-shirts that you know I just wear around the house and all that kind of stuff. So I don't wear these things every day, I wear them when I go out or go to work or whatever. Uh, so they give you an idea of the premium ones you can get. Now I've split them into different piles just randomly. This is indigo dyed, this is uh, your, uh, your white ones and these are just randomly put together. I do have other ones that I'm not featuring on the video. I mean, this is a black one from UES, or a gray one from UES, but I just wanted to put the main ones, give you an idea of the cool fabrics and the, and the ones you can potentially get. So let's jump right in. Right, before jumping in, two things I wanna show you. If you've never seen or heard of one of these, you are missing out. You need to get one of these from Amazon. This is called a Box Legend, I think they're called. Uh, if you ever have trouble folding your t-shirts, uh, I think most people have a closed mountain in the corner on a chair where they just chuck everything. If you wanna put your t-shirts, like I've got here, folded nice to let you see in the store. If you you know don't know how to do that, there's, I think I've seen on YouTube, there's ways where you can pinch and then do all this crazy stuff. Just get one of these off of Amazon. They're amazing. I'll see if I can put in a bit of clip of me uh, folding one, three steps, put the t-shirt down, bang, 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 and then they're folded. Uh, use it all the time. Uh, so handy to have when you have t-shirts, jumpers, anything like that. So get yourself one of those off Amazon. Second thing is uh, with t-shirts like this, because uh, they're premium, you want them to last a lot, uh, a while. And they do last, the fabric will last and all that kind of stuff. But where you know you can get let down is uh, things like your deodorant. I know this is a weird thing to be talking about, but uh, you know back in the day when I wasn't really that much into fashion and, and I had a lot of cheap t-shirts, uh, you find you go through them really quickly when you're using really cheap or rubbish deodorant with uh, aluminium and that kind of stuff in there. If you sweat, you'll see the underarm start to go yellow and that kind of stuff. And by the end, you just have to throw them out. Um, if you have that issue, get yourself some natural deodorant. I don't know, I know everyone's different with the sweat and all that kind of stuff. Um, this one is readily available in the UK, but I, I don't know about the US. It's called Salt of the Earth. Absolutely love it. Um, it has a really soft, uh, natural kind of scent. I mean, this is a ocean coconut and you can get like vanilla and stuff like that. Um, there's no uh, bad stuff in there, no aluminium, nothing like that. So I found with all the t-shirts I've worn, even if on a sweaty day, uh, they they uh, they come up fine. There's no staining um, at all, really. So um, natural deodorant is for the win when you're looking at premium t-shirts, if you want them to last. And you guys know what I'm talking about. You've all got t-shirts that the underarms are ruined. So get on Amazon or something, get some natural deodorant, make sure it hasn't got all that aluminium and stuff uh, on there. 100% natural ingredients, this one. So yeah. So why are these t-shirts so expensive? Why are we paying stupid money for these premium t-shirts? Uh, and it's down to a couple of things. One, it's down to the construction. So how it's put together and is it gonna last for a long time? And the big one is the cotton that they've used to, to, to put it together. Now you've heard of Egyptian cotton that you get in your bed sheets and everyone says that's fine and all that kind of stuff. It's really expensive if you go and buy Egyptian cotton, but there is also other types of cotton you may have heard of. There is Zimbabwe cotton, there is uh, Suvin gold or Suvin cotton, there is Pima or Supima cotton, uh, and then there's also Giza cotton. And there's, a, there's a, another long tail. I'll put this uh, little graph up that I found, uh, that I put together. I found a picture of this on Okiyama Denim's website and just made a little graph for you guys. This hopefully explains um, the types of cotton. So it's based on the fineness. So you've got long or short fineness and then uh, obviously the fiber length. So when you're talking about cotton that's being grown uh, with a long fiber length, uh, then you're getting into a more luxurious cotton that when woven is more uh, supple and, and, and soft on the body. That's why things like Suvin Gold and Pima cotton are you know, up there with, with pretty much the best cotton in the world. Now all these cottons are grown in different regions and that uh, it comes down to different uh, things like market forces. Uh, obviously, 
uh, the length it takes to uh, harvest the crop as well. So some of these long staple cottons like Suvin and uh, Pima take a lot longer than some of the cheaper cottons that you can just grow really quickly, harvest and then make a really cheap t-shirt. So uh, I hope that sort of gives you an understanding about why these t-shirts are so expensive sometimes uh, and the different uh, kind of details that you can go to with cotton. So, so the last thing uh, that also affects the price is the weight of the t-shirt. So sometimes you'll buy really uh, cheaper t-shirts and they might be really thin. Uh, and then you get some premium ones. So a lot of these just feel very thick and heavy. And that comes down to what they call GSM, which is grams per square meter. Kind of like uh, that the weight of your jeans, 11 ounce, 15 ounce or whatever. It's, it d denotes the, the, the weight of the fabric per a, uh, a length of measure. So same with uh, t-shirts is uh, GSM. Uh, you don't really find it that much on um, you know advertisements. They may just say it's a thick t-shirt or 100% cotton. So it's really difficult to find the GSM of the shirt. It's not really a thing that they go by uh, as you would with jeans. But um, yeah, the thickness of the fabric does affect the price as well. Now let's get into, uh, we'll, go, we'll go with the white ones first, uh, straight off the bat. First one on the top is the, is the Studio Dartisan. Uh, this is the Studio Dartisan, Studio Dartisan Loop Wheeled Suvin Gold t-shirt. So as I said, it's Suvin Gold, it's out of India. It's pretty much the best cotton you can get in the world. It's long uh, staple cotton. It takes a long time for this to harvest uh, and it's loop wheeled as well. So it is super soft. Uh, and this is this is fairly new this t-shirt actually I've only worn this a handful of times uh, just because I've got the other ones down here So this is gonna get softer as I wear it. It's still in that stage where it still feels very very new and uh, kind of stiff But that's gonna get lovely and soft uh, It is a pocket tee as well. So uh, You know as you can see here with me wearing it uh, hopefully in a b-roll uh, It is a very very nice fitting shirt slim fit and uh, yeah, just <laughs> What, what more can you say? It's pretty much the best cotton in the world from India. Uh, and it is 125 pounds. So the price reflects the quality of it. It's probably the most expensive t-shirt that I have, um, but it remains to be seen uh, how it's gonna last. And I think it's gonna last really, uh, really well if the UES Suvin Gold one is anything to go by, which we'll get to in a minute. So that's that one. Put that to the side. Uh, so next one off the bat is from 316 and this one is incredible value for money. It's only 95, 90 pounds uh, and it comes in a two pack. So you get two for 90 pounds and uh, I have still got the other one in there unworn and I've had this for like three or four years. So I've, I've got a t-shirt in there unworn for three or four years. I should bring it up, but this one just is doing so well. So this is 100% uh, American grown Pima cotton. It's 160 GSM, one of the only shirts I can actually find the GSM on. Uh, and as I said, two pack, value for money. It's the shirt you will, if I'm not wearing the pocket tee in my videos, you'll see me wearing this one. It doesn't have a pocket. Uh, fits really nice. It's not baggy at all, it fits me perfectly. One thing I will say is definitely try on t-shirts if you have the chance to go to a store or you can return them uh, because I did go and try a lot of these on back in the day when I got this one and when I got the UES one. I remember trying the flathead, had a two pack I think of t-shirts, didn't like that at all. They just didn't fit me, they cut in under here. These ones fit me really good, these 316 ones. Uh, so I can't recommend them more highly enough. And again, 100% American made. If you guys in the US, I know there's a lot of you are looking for 100% American cotton. Here's your, here's your thing. Check out 316. Uh, this will last you, as I said, many years and you get two of them. So look into that. Right, this is the one I pretty much talk about all the time and it's the one I get a lot of questions on. This is from UES. This again is Suvin cotton. So this is the best cotton you can get in the world. Uh, it's super thick, love it. Uh, it looks a bit, it's just been washed so it's a bit um, a bit stiff at the moment. But uh, I love this t-shirt, UES Ramanyana. They do this in this color, the white. They do it in a, the, this is uh, the black one. They do the black one and they do it in, in like a mild gray as well. I highly recommend if you're looking to get top, top premium t-shirt, if you don't want to fork out the 125 for the Studio Dutters and Suvin Gold, uh, you can get this one, which is 90 pounds, and this is the same cotton. Uh, and the UES guys just know how to put some garments together. So this thing will last you ages. I absolutely love it. You'll see it. it's the one I wear most in all of my videos uh, if, you're, if I'm wearing a pocket tee. So definitely look into UES. Can't recommend it enough. I have nothing bad to say about this t-shirt at all. Last but not least uh, in the whites, this is one I, uh, I've had it for a long time actually, but I never really wore it. This is from English brand Sunspell. Uh, it's a really soft, I don't have any information about this actually. 
Uh, it's, all I know is it's just a, a white, a white t-shirt. Fits me really nice. And the reason why is it's extremely thin. I don't know what cotton's used in it. It could be poor quality. I don't know. Uh, but I wear that, wear this, uh, you know, when it's really hot uh, summer days, because uh, it's it just it's breathable basically. Uh, the downside is it can be see through. <laughs> so uh, take that into consideration. Have a look into that. But yeah, Sunspell, uh, really light, fluffy summer t-shirt. I do have another kind of whitish one that you I have been asked about before and it was from Everlane. It was, it was an Everlane Air T. I should have bought that up. I don't have that with me, but check out Everlane as well if you want a cheaper one. Uh, the Everlane Air T, they're really good. Right, next up, let's go into Indigo Dyed. Uh, I've only got two Indigo Dyed ones. Now the first one, this is a bit of a, almost like just a bit of fun. Right, this is really recent. This is from Studio Dartisan. Uh, and it's I'm I'm not one for branding on uh, shirts, but I saw this online and it just looked really cool on someone. Uh, so I mean, if I open this up, it's just got Studio Dartisan and um, little quality logo there, and uh, on the back it's got that kind of cool whatever that is. Uh, and as I said, I'm not really one for uh, branding at all or you know drawing attention kind of thing, but. I really love vintage. I love seeing, uh, I love it when people have like t-shirts and stuff that are worn and like vintage kind of uh, shop logos and all that kind of stuff. I love that kind of vintage. And because this looks really cool when it's indigo dyed, as this uh, gets washed and ages, it'll just look like a very, very old t-shirt. And I really just want to see how that, that goes. And you can see here that the, that the printing has got these different types of indigo through them and you can just see it's ready to fade. I did like a rub test on a piece of paper the other day and this thing uses uses indigo so I can't really wear it on nice chairs and couches and stuff as well. But this is American, 100% uh, American cotton. I don't know what cotton it actually is, uh, but you can see in the bottom there, it's got uh, made in USA, assembled in Japan. One thing I will say about this, uh, this is it's kind of uh, really coarse. It's not soft as the Pima or the Suvin gold stuff. Uh, so I, I don't know, I think it might soften up as it washes, but it's a bit of a novelty uh, and uh, so I don't know. But yeah, these this is from the latest line of Studio Dazen uh, um, t-shirts that are just out now. Uh, so you can still buy this one today. It came in a really dark indigo and a lighter indigo as well. So that's that one. So last but not least on my indigo dyed ones is this one from Pure Blue Japan. This is their, this is this is one like a firm fan favorite, this one. Uh, it's ongoing, Rivet and Hyde uh, always have this in stock. They just got new stock of it this week actually. I bought this from Rivet and Hyde. Uh, it's just their plain indigo dyed, natural indigo dyed tee. Uh, and you can see there, it's just straight, straight up plain. Fits really lovely, super soft. Uh, and it's got the, um, the, you know, the, the leaf on the side. Uh, I've, I've worn I've worn this quite a few times and washed it. I try and not wash it if I don't have to, uh, but if it smells, then I, you know I wash it. So yeah, it's a round neck one. It's 100% cotton. Uh, I think they uh, washed this once, so it won't shrink as well. So check this out if you want a, a lovely tea that's going to fade to a nice hue over time. But yeah, those two uh, indigo ones uh, can't wait to see how they fade. All right. So last but not least is uh, my last two just random ones. This is. Uh, turning out to be my most favorite t-shirt of the year. Fairly new to me. This is uh, Studio Dartisan using Fox Fiber cotton. Now, if you don't know what Fox Fiber is, uh, I'll do my best to explain it. Essentially, it's natural cotton. There's no um, dyeing or anything like that. It's not white. Uh, where it's grown in America, uh, the ground, the organic matter in the soil, uh, I think from other crops that they've grown in the area, it makes this cotton organically this dark color, the gray. Uh, and then it's processed uh, quite naturally and you can still see some of the seeds and stuff uh, in the uh, in the cotton, I think. It's just because it's natural fibers. Uh, it's been patented by a lady called Sally Fox, uh, who through her studies and all that kind of stuff, uh, was managed to uh, produce a cotton that was long fiber. So before this, they had short uh, fiber cottons with this kind of color that they really couldn't bring into production, but she managed to pattern the way, I don't know how she did it, but um, to make long fiber cotton uh, using um, this kind of method she patented it, she called it Fox Fiber. Uh, and now Studio Dartisan use this uh, for various things. They, they use it for 
uh, the shirts uh, and also you may have seen some fox fiber jeans comes in various different colors i think there's uh, they call them like road runner coyote uh, and something else but this is the i think this is the road runner one uh, there's a green one that um, i didn't get but this is this is like the, the kind of the creamyish kind of brownish one which um, uh, i love now uh, uh studio doesn't do this via loop wheeling as well they they make it by loop wheeling so it's extremely plump and soft and so so look it up online if you want to research look up sally fox or fox fiber uh and if you want to try something different this is an amazing t-shirt if you can get a hold of it it's basically the same construction as the Suvin gold studio dollars in one uh, but using fox fiber uh, and it's just so soft straight out of the bag uh, so i would highly recommend uh, this fox fiber one uh, if you're looking at i think this was around 60 pounds as well i don't think it was that expensive compared to some of these other ones but obviously it's fairly new so i don't know how it's going to hold up as in how it's going to uh, feel after multiple washes but um, love it i mean, love it they do i think uh okiyama denim i uh, put a preview of the studio data and uh for winter line uh, which i imagine all the shops will get uh, and there's a lot of fox fiber stuff coming um, there's a uh, sweats and uh, stuff like that uh, with different fox fiber variations so um, look out for that if you can't get the t-shirt because the winter stuff's coming with a lot of fox fiber in it so yeah last but not least is uh, this is just kind of like a, a wild card one i don't really know about never really heard of the brand but i just thought it was cool uh, this is a, a t-shirt from folk uh, and this was bought for Mr. Porter. Now, the reason why I love it is it's just like that nice coarse kind of cotton feel on the on the uh, the, the body, but the the arms have a really thinner cotton uh, that is just totally different. I don't know if you can you can't see through, but you can see there's a difference cotton used for the arms. This feels really nice on me. It was a wild card, as I said. I don't really have anything green as well. I just have indigo, white, dark ish. So this is just a little bit of fun green shirt something different uh mr porter so that is really it to be honest uh, i hope you enjoyed that i hope that sort of gave you an insight i hope it was worth the wait i know a lot of you guys were really wanting me to go into detail if you want to see more on any of these t-shirts at all um, drop me a message uh, put a comment down below i'm happy to uh, go into detail about Fox Fiber if you if you want, or if you want me to get some more information on Studio Dardazan or Pure Blue Japan, um, let me know. I'm looking for ideas on uh, videos to bring you guys, so um, let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, and if you did enjoy this content, give it a like uh, down below, uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed already, you guys know what to do. Hit the subscribe button because it really helps me out. It helps me bring content like this to you guys. And with that being said, guys, have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.